Hello, I'm Dave Coleman. I work here at the Topeka Shawnee County Library. I love the Olympics. I hope you all have enjoyed the two weeks that they've been on. Um, I sure have. Lots of exciting things have happened. And the thing about the so good about the Olympics is, is that there's such a history of it. And I just want to share a couple of, of books that I have found that have some incredible stories about the Olympics. One is called The Boys in the Boat. It was made into a movie recently. It's a story about a really kind of obscure sport called the six-man rowing. It follows the career of, of these young men from the woods of Washington State. And they went to University of Washington, took up rowing, and they never lost a race all the way through the Olympics. It's a great, great story if you like to read about an underdog. Another book, this goes into the 1960s, is a book just called Rome 1960, the story of the Olympics by a guy named David Marinus. That Olympics seemed to be kind of a pivotal time in, in really our world's history. If you're old enough to remember the Cold War and, and the way that every Olympic or sporting event was laid out as a battle against Russia, the Eastern, Eastern Europeans, and the free world. And so it was always these huge rivalries about uh, who had the better athletes. Um, that was kind of the, the, the backdrop to those Olympics. Um, also, sadly, is the first Olympics where they found out people were doping, using performance-enhancing drugs, uh, which kind of carried into the modern era. Um, and it was also the first Olympics that was totally shown on TV. They would uh, film the Olympics, put stuff on an airplane, and fly it to, to New York, and then to show it that same day. Um, so that's just kind of amazing to think of, you know, things like that. Now, final book that, that I wanted to share uh, is just kind of a book I did not know about is called The Inaugural Ballers, and it's a story about the first women's Olympic basketball and kind of about their journey, about their competition, and about the real miracle that they were able to win the silver medal in the 1976 Olympics. So those are some, some books we have here at the library, and you'll find lots of different uh, big picture books on the Olympics, more stories about athletes, and um, just really enjoyable because you want to keep the uh, excitement and enjoyment of the last two weeks and learn some more stories about them because there will be stories coming out about these Olympics too.